when I'd first Googled how to four edge paint or what is four edge painting, I'd looked on Wikipedia and then I'd, the, the first thing I'd noticed was that it was a critically endangered craft as, you know, um, proposed by the Heritage Craft Association. So that's where I first discovered the Heritage Craft Association and then kind of realizing how much love I had for old things and old crafts and traditional things. And, and you know, cause, cause I like my, there's just, I've just have so much on all the time and I'm quite busy. My brain's so busy all the time, but looking at these like really traditional crafts that are much more slow, much more kind of, you know, it's just, just kind of slower, like way of doing things and, and appreciating small things. And that's what I, th I think I'd realized like is what I need to, what I because kind of what I need. Um, so that's what prompted me to join. And also I think it's, it's important as well. All the, and I looked on the like list of what crafts are endangered and I was pretty shocked with some of the stuff that's on there, like cricket ball making. Never thought of that, yeah. but yeah, yeah, that's kind of what prompted me to join. And I also think it's a really important association as well. Um, and there's a lot of like things that the Heritage Craft Association offers as well, like, you know, like awards and, and um, grants and stuff. So I think there's definitely something to be said for um, finding like something that you really love and like no matter how far off it seems, you know, whether it's like uh, whether you don't know if you can do it or if it's, you know, a critically endangered craft where you can't find the resources for it, it's just if, if you like if you really love something and you love doing it then it's really valuable and and also because um because Tolkien and and Harry Potter and stuff like not the coolest thing in the world um none of my friends are super into it um and I wasn't I kind of put it aside when I went to university and I think this year I've kind of really re-picked it up and really embraced it and I love I love it and I find it so interesting and there's so much like historical influence and and you know um literary content in it like just really like it sounds very cliche but just be yourself and if you really love something then just go ahead and actually love it um so because good things will come of it and I found a really amazing community online and and yeah just making things as well it's really important to make things and enjoy making things so yeah I wouldn't see myself as a role model but the the kind of narrative of like just get yourself involved with things you actually enjoy especially because school is so long and university can be so hard and jobs can be hard like when I was a carer it was quite hard and it was very long hours but you know it's finding that little bit of something you really enjoy in life and really embracing it I think and holding on to you know old traditions as well and old things and, and keeping old cultures and old traditional crafts alive is really important I think. <laughs>